Hey guys, it's Kelly. How you doing? So, I have one exam left and the semester's done. And I've been kind of ignoring my plants and everything else. Because, you know, papers and everything you gotta do. And, uh, yeah, so now I can take a break. I can breathe. And we're gonna look at uh, what I did to the plants. What is that? Do you see that? Thanksgiving. All right, it's December. I have to switch that. I have to decorate for thanks for Christmas. Christmas. Okay, so first we'll do that, and then we're gonna check out the plants and see uh, what I did when I ignored them. Hopefully, I know I know some are dead, some are dead, but maybe some will come back. But first, we decorate for Christmas. So. All right, we're we're ready. Okay, <laughs> so oy. we have to put the Thanksgiving decorations away, and check out the plants. Yeah, this guy, they all need water. It's been about two weeks. Um, yeah. These guys are okay. Well, up here. Oh, man. So these guys... Oops, oops I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. These guys are all cuttings I recently got. So, uh, this... It hasn't died yet. I don't know. It's been a couple weeks. Same with this guy. I don't know. I don't know, man. My Fitchii... My fungi, sorry, did the same thing and it's still alive. And it put out this really weird, like, pink and green leaf, but it lived. And I don't usually give up on a plant until they look like this, so. Yeah, yeah. So that guy, that guy's gotta go. But yeah, so. We gotta water all these little babes. Look at that new leaf Hoya Jennifer gave me. So pretty. Alright. My mullet inspired display is doing good. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I haven't showed you guys this guy. This is my Peperomia japonica. And each year she does drop a lot of leaves. And then, uh, you know, she grows them back. And she's starting to do that now. You can see the green coming up. But uh, this year, with the two weeks of no water, a lot of it died back. So we got to clean her up. So maybe we'll do that today, too. I don't know. Ugh, my knees. I'm getting old. These guys, for the most part, look okay. All right. I'm gonna swing you around to the other side. Ding, ding, ding. And check out these guys next. Start over here. The I know they all need water, but uh, just check them out. Ooh. This guy's got a yellow leaf. All right, all right. Since the areas are probably actually fine. We have these guys. This guy is like growing, growing like crazy. Ooh, but you need water. Barely hold yourself up. All the little ones. Uh, these guys you gotta be careful about. See this guy, look. The water is getting low again. And drying up some leaves. Okay, oh, we got yellow leaves. Oh, well, my little begonia needs some water. I found this guy at my local nursery. And, uh, yeah, it's a cutie. Yeah. Check out you guys. <sighs> some plants just, they just want to die. I don't know. Oh, Diffenbachia. I can't keep that alive. See, like, it just, I can't do it. It doesn't, 
it's not as easy as everybody says, man. It needs like constant or consistent, consistent <laughs> care. And it's not really how I live. So. These are all of my philodendron. I put them all up here and they're all doing a lot better. I think uh, they like a little bit more humidity. So look at this new leaf coming in. How cute. I also have like a little bottle of water, a little jar of water. And yeah, so these are my aglionemas. This guy is a very pale yellow cutting. Might die, might be dead. But yeah, so I've got some yellow leaves I gotta pull off. The fern is okay. They definitely need water. The Moon Valley plant needs water. Those guys need water. So yeah, because it's gonna be a big watering day. Look how cute the planters are. All right, so let me get me. Let me go get the water, and I'll be back. All right, I got a pitcher of water. And uh, what I like to do at first is I just pour it into this bottom thing, let it go all over, and then I come back and uh, pour some water on some of the other ones that haven't pulled up enough water yet. And this is kind of how I try to water my my little Hoyas. So I hopefully don't overwater them, but I mean, you know what happens. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing, and then going around and watering everything. Alright, so this side of the room has been watered. Oh, I can give you a little update on my uh, pickle jar terrarium. Oh, let me pull you somewhere maybe you could see a little better, maybe, maybe. Oh, Mark my Hoya Bella kicked the bucket. Was not one of the ones that made it. So, this is what it looks like from the front. I'll go in there now. Alright, so, the turtles are still alive. The uh, red type of peperomia, I never actually got to look up the name for that. Did not make it. The frosts, the ruby, the other one that's in the front made it. And then... These two peperomias back here are loving it in here. This guy's actually um, put out all that new growth. So, peperomias and, ter and terrariums, pretty good, pretty good. I still don't know what that red one was. <sighs> I have to remember to look it up. But, yeah, it's doing well so far. See the different kind of peperomias I have in there? Sorry for the glare, but, yeah. It's gonna look really cute and it's got plenty of room to grow up so that's done All right. I do have another pickle jar full of pickles that I'm working on so I can make another one of those so all right and now to tackle this side of the room so yeah I'll see you in a bit <laughs> All right, we're back. So this is just some warm water. Uh, I don't know why it's foggy. I guess there's more minerals, but yeah. So this is what we're working with. So this is all of my orchids that I had earlier. I just threw it in a, I have to be careful of the water splash, but I just threw them all in one bigger basket um, with some wood chips. And we're gonna see how that goes because I had them all separate and they were just like getting knocked over and like I don't know we're gonna see how this works all right, this is doing well this plant probably going to need oops spell and we'll just move the plants on the bottom under so yeah, this is kind of like what I do. I don't have like a million plants, so it's not too bad. It's just a couple of walks to the sink, which I don't mind doing. Gotta get your steps in anyway, right? And yeah, so just 
give everybody a little bit of splash. I don't really do like soaks for my plants, um, partially because I tend to be an underwaterer, and I think if I did that, it would just be too much water for the roots to handle. And so instead, I just give them splashes a couple times a week. And yeah, that's how I like to water my plants. So I'm going to keep doing that. You don't want to see me do, you know, it's going to be very boring that way. So I'm going to cut out now and cut back when I'm on to the next task. So see you in a few. Look at how fast it's soaking it up. Ay. I'm sorry, plants. I'm sorry. I was busy. Yeah, wow, look at it, it's just getting sucked up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, oi. You might need more water, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, Kurt said I was thirsty. Which, look, look how good it's growing. Top's got a couple dead leaves, but it's trailing pretty nicely. Eventually, I'll get it as a full basket again. And this guy knows, I know he's thirsty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta find a good spot to water. Are you here? Okay, I think we're good here. Spilling, spilling, spilling. It's okay, we gotta mop the floor anyway, right? Alright guys, so all of my plants are watered. It takes me about half an hour to do all of my plants, um, which is what is good for me right now. Um, maybe after school I could, you know, increase my collection to where it takes me an hour to water all my plants. Um, I don't think I really want to have a collection larger than that. Um, just because then it, it turns into a chore instead of a hobby, and I don't want to do that. So, the next thing we're going to do is tackle this guy, or girl, this this plant. And uh, I'm going to set up the camera so that you can see, and we're going to close out this video. Just just doing some, some plant maintenance, pulling off dead leaves. So, I will see you in a bit. Alrighty. So this is what she looks like after most of the dead stuff is pulled off. Not all of it. I'm not perfect. It's okay. Um, but yeah, she should fill out again um, like she did last year. And yeah, so this is uh, what can happen when you forget to uh, <laughs> water your plants for a couple weeks on the cusp of a winter cold snap. Uh, yeah, but as you can see... Right here, she puts out new leaves, and she should bounce back. So, I hope you guys liked it. Just a quick little catch up on some plant chores with me after uh, after finals. And uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, relax, plant, and peace out.